today we're going to be talking about the different inventory costing methods. We're going to look at the FIFO method, the LIFO method, and the weighted average. On this video, we're going to concentrate just on the FIFO method, and the next, method, the next videos will take a look at LIFO and weighted average. Now, the information we're going to start with on all three videos when we go through all three of these methods is this. We have beginning inventory of 100 units. This is on 10-1, so October 1st. October 3rd, we purchase 100 more units. So if we started with 100, and then we purchased 100 more, we now have 200 units. But notice, the price has gone up. That happens frequently when you're buying inventory to later sell. The price can change. So in this case, that's what's happened. The price was $10, and now it's $11. On October 5th, we have a sale of 150 units. Here's the problem. See, what we're dealing with is the sale of this inventory. So that's where we, we generate sales and generate our profit. When we have a sale, the, the journal entry typically is this. We're going to have accounts receivable, because oftentimes our sale is on credit. So we have a credit sale of whatever the dollar amount is. And then we recognize sales revenue. Okay? But that's only the first half of the journal entry. We're not really concentrating on this in this chapter. What we're concentrating on is the second part of this entry. The second part is to debit cost of goods sold and credit the inventory. So what we're doing is we're recognizing the expense and reducing inventory. So when we have this sale of 150 units here on the 5th, well, in order to calculate the reduction in inventory and the, the entry to cost of goods sold, we've got to figure out well, which units did we sell because there's 200 units here and they're at different prices. And that's where FIFO, LIFO, and the weighted average, or sometimes we call it the moving average, come into place. Under FIFO, we would say the first items in are the first ones out. So in this case, what's going to happen is, now I put together this little spreadsheet that we're going to do to fill out this, on the first, here is the 100 units at $10. Then on the third, we're purchasing, so I have a column here for purchases, we're purchasing 100 more units at $11. So our balance then is, we still have our 100 at 10 and 100 at 11. So let's draw a little line in here. There we go. Okay, now on the fifth, we have a sale. We're selling 150 units. Well, let's take a look. What do we have here? 100 at 10 and 100 at 11. Which ones did we sell? Well, under FIFA, which stands for first in, first out, it's saying that when we have a sale, the first ones in are the first ones out. So we sold 100 at 10. Now, that's not the sales price. That's the cost. That's the cost of goods sold. And then we also sold 50 of the $11 ones. So we sold 100 of the $10 ones, 50 of the $11 ones. So this is our cost of goods sold. So under sale, it's really the cost of goods sold call. So I'm going to change that from sale to the cost of goods sold because it's not the revenue. The revenue is this entry, which we would record whatever the sales price of these items were. But what we're concentrating on is on the second part of the journal entry. Okay, now what do we have left? Well, we have left 50 at 11 because there's 50 of those left. We sold 50 of those, and we've got 50 left, and all the $10 ones were sold. So let's draw another line in here. Let's move to the next transaction. We now purchase some more. So on the 6th, we have a purchase of 100 at $10.80. So now what do we have? Well, we've got our 50 at 11 and 100 at $10 and 80 cents. So there's our next purchase that's showing what we have. And then on the seventh, we have one more transaction. We have another sale, we sold 50 units. So 50 units, which 50 did we sell? Well, this is the first in, first out. So we sold the $11 ones. So what do we have left in inventory? We have 100 at $10.80, 100 of them at $10.80. Our cost of goods sold is 50 at $11. So to figure out the total cost of goods sold, you would multiply these out and then add that up. Now we get you your total cost of goods sold. What's our ending inventory? Right here. 
our ending inventory is 100 units at $10.80, which would equal $1,080 in inventory. So that's the FIFO method. And in just a minute, we'll start lecturing for the LIFO method. Make sure you understand this. The chapter goes over in detail how to calculate this. Now be very careful. We're looking at the perpetual inventory method, which means that we perpetually update our inventory numbers. After every transaction, we're updating inventory. We do not use the periodic in this class. Okay, well, good luck with FIFO, and we'll get to LIFO in just a little bit. Thanks.